Kala Ishkela guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2 and in today's video guys we are here with of course a Tuesday reset meaning we've got the brand new seasonal content starting this week and this is of course going to be called the Echoes episode okay it's gone away from seasons to episodes they're basically the same sort of thing but this episode is going to be called Echoes so it's all Vexy themed and everything but that means that we are going to have a bunch of Vexy sort of weapons and the first one we're going to be looking at is going to of course be the Veiled Tret Auto Rifle. Now, I actually did a video on the Lost Signal during the week because you could have got some of these weapons. You could have got Ill Omen or Lost Signal during the week if you went to the helm. But of course, now we have opened up the whole arsenal of the episodic sort of weapons. And Veiled Tret is the auto rifle you can, of course, get from doing sort of like the missions for this uh, episode. And it looks hella dope. As I said, they are going to be very vexy looking in more ways than one. So they're vexy looking and vexy looking, if you get what I mean. But this thing looks like it's going to be an absolute chunk. And I will definitely say, this is probably the reason we didn't get the Steel Feather Repeater back. I know it hasn't come back. It's so freaking sad. I was so annoyed when I found out. But the 720 RPM auto is going to be on this Veil Tread. So they probably didn't want more than one weapon having it for like for one episode. But you will see on the screen all the rows you can get in this. So it is going to be Stasis, meaning Headstone is going to be a perk. And a Collective Action is on it as well. Got things like Attrition Orb, Tread Detector, Fragile Focus, Loose Change as well. It actually has some really sweet ass rolls for rapid fire frame. I'm so sad there's no kill clip because kill clip with 720s is insane. But I will say the Veil Tread, it is really, really dope. But I actually didn't go over it. The Argent Trade on this is going to be Radio Laureate Transposer. Rapid Fire Blows causes the targets to explode into a pool of Radio Laureate Fluid. Now, PvP, I probably won't get that much. But PvE, this is really, really dope. Especially when you kind of pair this with Headstone or Debuff and uh, what's called sort of pricks. It can be really nasty in PvE. So yeah, we're going to showcase exactly what this gun is like in both some PvP PvE. So without further ado, let's head into the Crucible with the Veil Tret. All right, we're going to be joining the game in progress on, of course, the freaking Fragment, which is very vexy and everything. But this is what our Veil Tret is going to look like and stuff. And I got blasted. I will definitely say, though, that this weapon, as much as it kind of looks cool, it is a beefy looking thing. I mean, you can definitely see we got the guilt. <laughs> but you can see this thing has like a really weird sort of um, scope on it. Like, I feel like it's just, <laughs> just look at it. It's insane. You'll see I like, with the two to pain kind of going though by 10, which is actually really cool. Oh, me closer. Oh my God, I'm still alive. So you can definitely see you can get the two to pain kind of going pretty easy PVP. That's why I say with the good shot straight, it actually is kind of nice that even when hitting body shots, I get the extra damage going, of course, with the two to pain. Um, I'll get my aim assist kind of back. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be hitting after domes with it, but it's a pretty nice sort of combo. I mean, I'm losing stuff, but I'm also gaining stuff for hitting shots. Uh, Machacho's here, though. We get one of them. And <laughs> you can kind of see it is 720 RPM, so it sprays like hell. Like, these sorts of weapons, they are bullet hoses. And some people really love them. Like, Steel Feather was a really good one. Oh, my God, I missed with Steel Feather. But this one is just really, really nice. As I said, the damage you can kind of get going on this is going to be nutty. And oh, he got frozen somehow. Should the other guy for me? Oh, in death, you were a freaking hero. And there's the Radio Lorian food we kind of actually got going. You can kind of see it there. It's actually pretty cool. It's basically just space, like a mech sort of thing. Lands on the floor, just a bit of damage. But I will say PvP, obviously, I'm not really going to see it going that often. But I do think that overall, this uh, auto, it feels pretty juicy PvP. I'm not going to lie. It's an absolute bullet hose, but... You can hit your heads with this sort of thing. You are gonna annihilate people now. There's Machacho's here, and you're underneath my ass, buddy. What the? Oh, gosh, he's right there. <laughs> Where the hell did he disappear to? I'll get this guy instead, though. And keep spraying, keep spraying, keep spraying. <laughs> oh, ghost in the night. All right, this is a bit weird. I joined in progress, and we're actually on the winning team. That just that just doesn't happen. That's not a thing. Oh, uh, guy at range here, though. And okay, that is ambitious. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to hit those range shots. This is the 720 RPM, but... Oh, 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 man, it's got deleted. It is a 720 RPM, but... Yeah, range is like what these aren't really built for. They're more built for kind of close quarters spraying down and everything. But you can definitely see it's a really cool ass auto. I know we are kind of annihilating these, but I do really like this. It is a bit of a chunker and it is hard to kind of get used to when you jump in the air. My whole screen is basically getting taken over. I can't see where my reticle is. If you kind of get me, this is the only scope on it too. It's not like this is just a random scope. It's the only one you can use. So if you don't like it, well, tough DDs, you're kind of stuck with it. And that's what I'm saying. It's a bit... It's a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. That's a shotgun. Ah! Oh, guys, why are we all just here? Freaking. Oh my god, buddy. 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 Huh? Got a dip on me? Where you going? <laughs> Got him. No! With the igneous. <laughs> I'm so confused where he's running to. Oh my good god. But it's so hard when you jump up in the air like this as a warlock. I don't know if hunters would be better, but I just can't see anything. Usually I'd be like kind of looking for people, but it's just so hard to see. But oh, there's the deletion. 
my god, it burns so fast. Oh, he's getting team shot. Yo, we, we really team bagging? Bro, I'm using an auto rifle. It's not like I'm going in full sweat mode or something. Do I teabag back though? Do you teabag back? And okay, get super. <laughs> I mean, I could be petty and teabag back, but we're not about that. Yeah. <laughs> As I always say, boys, they should not teabag first. And oh my god. Oh, Emily. <laughs> but they should not teabag first unless they wants to get teabagged back. And yep, that's all. It's the only time I'll ever teabag if someone teabags me, but. This was legit such a fast game. I mean, look at me in bed. Oh, yo, mama, leave me alone. Let me heal up a little bit, and then we, we take the 1v1 now. We're going to peek, buddy. There we are. <laughs> oh, there's the kill. As I said, this thing can, it can rail people really fast. It honestly reminds me so much of the 18th epilogue. All righty, so time for the PvE side things, of course, oh, with the little Veil Trap that could. And this is where I'd say it'll be a little bit better. Like, you can see, there's the freaking Radiant Orient kind of go in. Oh, it's so nice, PvE. But in PvE, of course, this is going to be my headstone sort of loose change roll. So it means that if I can get a headstone going, or if I just do debuffs with my prismatic hunter, I will go invis after getting kills and also get loose change kind of going, which does obviously increase my reload and everything, which is honestly really, really nice when you kind of get the perks going now. Obviously, against these sorts of guys, I'm just going to insta-kill them, so it's pointless. But if it wasn't cursed trolls, I'd be able to get this going. Ah, oh, there we go. Some actual normal ass trolls, boys. We'll see. I'll get the loose change kind of going, so my reload's going to be extra strictly slip and you can just basically keep these sort of debuffs going and that's what i'm saying with the prismatic hunter it's actually really really dope to kind of get going is like as a combo it's really dope obviously though if you can kind of get it going just in general like this it is really nice i mean there is other builds you can kind of go for too in terms of um i said desperate measures is going to be there and whatnot and guys we are getting spanked there's already two of us in here what the hell's going on right i need to clear this freaking thing my freaking thing is tanking so many shots Guys, why is there only two people? What happened to the matchmaking, huh? All right, we're just going to have to keep on buying turrets and everything. We can definitely see with the Prismatic Hunter. You can get deep up to enemies going so quickly. Like, it's actually not hard at all. And oh, we actually got another person in. But guys, I don't have barrier on right now. Okay, you don't, at least. <laughs> we can see PvE. This is going to be an absolute dream of a freaking auto. There is other 720s in the game, though. I will definitely say that people would probably go in with. There is, like, there's a Vesta 720 with Stasis Headstone and everything in Overflow. I do understand some people might like to use that one as well. So this isn't like just a brand new concept of a 720. But I still will say that this feels really juicy PvE. I think it has that really nice kind of feel to it. It's got a large enough magazine, but with the loose change and everything too, you can get on it. And of course, the ready lowering cools. I think it kind of does well. I mean, you can basically spam the shots out and then get a bunch of like... What a waste for super. But <laughs> well, you can basically spam the shots out and then you can get those like basically little sort of Wither Horde pulls going, which just do extra DPS for you, which is really nice. Obviously, the Vest one has the uh, Vest Stinger, so you get like infinite mag basically, but I still do really think this Veil Threat in PvE is really, really sweet. Uh, it's gonna be a freaking Shrieker though. Kill his ass real quick, boys. Let me get these debuffs going. Guys, you're killing everything too fast. <laughs> Am I ready to get this headstone going to get a debuff? You kill everything like within two seconds. Give me one headshot. There we go. There we go. There's a debuff you kind of want. There's already a lower fluid again, though. It's kind of coming in clutch. It is just so nice. And there's my loose change. Just give me that S3 reload. As I said, this whole build or this whole weapon, it feels really juicy PvE. I'm not going to lie. PvP, it actually wasn't bad either. Like, you could get kills. But PvE, this just feels extra spicy. I think that this is definitely something I'd be looking to get some rolls of. And this is going to be craftable too. So, you can get, like, enhanced headstone and everything. Enhanced sort of value change. And just make it even freaking better. As I said, this whole weapon together. Is really, really dope now. Give me that freaking T-Plus. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, everyone's just getting absolutely blasted. There's my Radiolorian fluid going in again. I, I love that little pool of the leaves. I think that's a really dope ass iron trade. As I said, um, when it was on the uh, the grenade launcher I was using, the Lost Signal, it wasn't bad there, but it was really hard to discern what the actual like Radiolorian fluid is. But, of course, here, yeah, you can definitely see it going a lot more. And yeah, where the frick's... Where's the night going? How are you, night? Come here. <laughs> I honestly, I just think overall this weapon is just, it's an absolute freaking blast. I think it's probably one of the better weapons to get from the season. It's like, there's the freaking explosion. That's the headstone that's coming in clutch, but I just think overall this weapon feels really nice. It would be interesting to see if like loose change would proc off the radio lowering fluid. I don't think it will. No, it doesn't. Okay, so radio lowering fluid won't proc as a debuff sort of kill, so. That's okay. I mean, we still have the stasis side of shards and everything kind of going as well. And on Prismatic Hunter, you get so many different things to debuff with. But I still do think that this just, it's super sweet. It's an absolute freaking laser beam too. Now, I will definitely say, I feel like this is going to be an absolute kicker on console. 
I could definitely imagine you guys struggling to kind of keep this recoil down a little bit. Unless you got some rolls with like food or brows or whatever. But I still will say that this weapon still feels really juicy anyway. That if you get the aim assist kind of going, it might just absolutely cop out. I mean, this is probably the closest you're going to get to the Atheon's epilogue. I'm not going to lie. It's said Atheon's epilogue. And oh my god, what the hell's going on over here, boys? I thought we killed them all. <laughs> but yeah, Atheon's epilogue is probably what this would be like. As I said, they didn't bring it back, but... This is a nice place thing. I'm telling you, this thing just... It cops PvP, a uh, PvE. I'm, this is just so, so sweet. But you can definitely see with the loose change, it actually is really sweet for the reload. I'm telling you, as soon as you get headstone kind of going. Oh, it's just so glorious. Like, look at this spray down. <laughs> this thing is just so dope. Oh, the little Radiolorium foods going as well. Oh, it has an eye clear weapon. This auto feels so juicy. I'm not going to lie. This thing is just an absolute beast. Alrighty, final boss time, of course, with their veil threat and everything. And this, as I said, this is a really sweet ass sort of weapon. I just think that this thing, it goes harm so well PvE. I mean, you could use a PvP as well. And there's probably other roles you could use PvE too to make this even better. But I just think as far as this weapon goes, it's 100% worth picking up with the way it works. And obviously the radio little fluid. Guys, how we all get blasted? What? <laughs> Are we all already dead? What's going on? Oh, you dip on me? Bro, rule number one, if someone's going to raise your eyes, you got this dip like that. I honestly do think this is worth getting. I, I think the only thing I'll give it that's like a downside is that it is a massive ass scope. So it's kind of hard to see with peripherals when you have it just like standard like this. It's easy, to, it's easy to see things when you have it aimed in than it is when you don't. I mean, it takes up such a large amount of your screen. I don't know if it's like the dead center's off or something like that, but I do think that overall, you should definitely get yourself some rolls. It will be part of the episode sort of I mean, you'll get it probably from, like, the first sort of encounter and stuff. It's pretty easy to get some rolls, but I would definitely keep any sort of god rolls you get. Like, any headstone sort of rolls or loose change because it's super, super sweet. Like, this roll or this weapon, it feels so good. Well, that is it for me. And, of course, the Veil Tret Auto Rifle itself. This thing, it's honestly an absolute beast. I mean, this combo here, headstone and loose change, is really, really sweet. There is other combos you can kind of go for, but it's pairing the redstone, of course, with this Radio, Lor uh, Radio Loria Transposer. If I'm saying that right. This iron trait's actually really, really nice for Agclear and add like control and everything. So yeah, I'd 100 percent be saying give this veil tread a shot. You would have probably get one or two of these anyway before from um just doing the, the kind of normal quest line for the new season or for the new episode. But overall, this uh, veil tread, absolute banger of an auto. And I will definitely say that they probably brought this as a 720 because they didn't want to have um steel feather on this set at the same time because they kind of obtained from the same areas or same engrams but i still will say that this veil tread is just super super dope so you should definitely try to get your hands on it because it's one of the better stasis sort of um auto rifles in the game i know it's not one of those vest sort of ones but there's something about it that feels really nice it feels basically like another ation's epilogue i will definitely say this gun is it's super dope you gotta try it but regardless if you like the video show us like and if you want to see more content subscribe and fantastic day and hopefully i'll see the next collective in the next one